we will have a conversation with Maritime Industry Authority Administrator Admiral Robert Empedrad. Ito po si Communication Secretary Martin Andanar. Welcome to Cabinet Report. Usapin itong mga nakarang linggo ang pagiging international hub for crew change ng Pilipinas. Ano ang kahalagahan nito sa ating bansa? Alamin natin sa panayam ng Radyo Pilipinas kay Maritime Industry Authority Administrator Admiral Robert Empedrad. Nagbigay na nga ang ating bansa ng ating commitment sa International Maritime Organization sa ASEAN at sa mga bansang China, Japan at Korea na tayo ay magiging isang major international hub for crew change. Ang bagong lahat, ano po muna ang ibig sabihin ng crew change at ng pagiging international hub for crew change? Crew change simply means uh, ang pagpapalit ng mga ano mga crew ng mga barko. Uh, base kasi sa maritime uh, labor uh, ano convention, Eh, yung ating uh, mga seafarers should be staying at sea for nine months. And uh, sometimes it, it, it uh, can be lengthened uh, up to a period of one year. So dapat palitan ka agad sila. Uh, kasi if you will not going to change them, yung mga yung pagod, yung, you know, and, and yung physical conditioning at saka yung spiritual and emotional nila will be affected and it will be dangerous for a ship uh, na ilagay mo yung crew ng mga yung medyo pagod na at kasi gusto na umuwi. So the idea is to do crew change. Uh, ibig sabihin, palitan in group yung mga mga personnel who have been there for nine to one year, nine months to one year, and then palit, baba sila and then palitan sila ng bagong papalit sa kanila para fresh na naman yung ating uh, crew uh, and uh, to ensure the safety of the ship all the time when they operate at sea. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng crew change. Now, yung sinasabing international hub for crew change, kasi sa ngayon, because of the pandemic, napakaraming restrictions. Some of the countries do not allow crew change. Kaya yung mga seafarers natin are already there for uh, more than a year. Uh, nag-expire na yung contract nila, but um, nandun pa sila. Kasi there are countries that do not allow crew chains because of the effect of the pandemic. Ayaw nila mag-spread yung uh, virus sa kanilang mga bansa. And some very few countries open their uh, ports as a hub for crew chains. And uh, napakandang uh, ano, uh, uh, ginawa natin that we opened our uh, country's uh, ports for crew chains. This was approved by the IATF when we requested to them in one of the presentation that I did uh, in the IATF. So, in nila na maging uh, international crew change yung ating bansa. So, in line with that, uh, the Department of Transportation, through the guidance of the Secretary of Tugade, that we start opening our ports to, for crew change. Inuna nilang binuksan yung Manila. Uh, kaya nga maraming pumunta na barko sa Manila because it's an opportunity kasi for them to, to uh, yung palitan yung kanilang crew. And then uh, we were able to open up the, that port, uh, Kapin Pin, in uh, Bataan. And just recently in Subic Bay, uh, Metropolitan Authority, nagbukasin tayo ng crew change ng, ano, ng, ano, uh, 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 the opening of uh, a hub there for crew change. And then sa future po, bubuksan din natin according to our beloved secretary, yung uh, uh, Davao, uh, Cebu, Batangas, and other uh, ports of our country. Yung kasi pagbubukas ng ports natin, ang ginagawa kasi ng DOTR is we come up with a uh, a one-stop shop dun sa port like in Manila, uh, in Port, Manila Port, Subic and Bataan. Kung saan ang ibig sabihin ng one-stop shop, pagbaba po ng ng pagdating ng barko sa dagat kasi mag-aangkor lang 'yan or if there is available pier, they can move into the pier and dock. Now, ibababa yung Ano yung uh, crew na uh, lampas na ng uh, ano ng contract nila and they have to undergo RT-PCR testing based on our uh, crew change protocol and then kung uh, while they are waiting for their for the result of the RT-PCR PCR, they should uh, stay in a quarantine so si PPA po naglagay na ng quarantine sa mga uh, peers uh, for this so Nandun na yung one-stop shop, the, and then the BOQ will be there uh, to uh, 
look into the um, state of health of the crew. And then pagkatapos niyan, uh, siyempre kailangan din ng tugboat na magdadala ng crew sa pier. So these are the coordinations that we are going to do uh, during the conduct of crew change. And then yung pagbiyahe din nila sa Manila, if they are going to Manila and going to their respective uh, homes, pagka lumabas na yung result ng RT-PCR na negative, then they can go home. Then kasama yan sa mga babantayan natin. Uh, and, and these are the things that we are, go we are doing when we open up food chain. So ngayon, ang gagawin natin pagbukas natin sa Batangas, Davao, and uh, Cebu, i-establish na naman natin ng one-stop shop doon. So it's, it's very tough for us because we put people there to man the one-stop shop on a daily basis. So mag maggagawa kami ng quarantine facilities. Si PPA gumawa na ng quarantine facilities doon so that pagdating nila, hindi na sila gagalaw sa lugar. They just go to the quarantine facility which is uh, near the, usually in the pier din. And then so with that we we prevent the spread of uh, the virus. So ganyan ang ibig sabihin ng crew chains and uh, making our country an international hub for crew chains is uh, on 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 our way. So I, I hope we'll be able to perfect this one uh, because okay. this is a very advantageous to our country. Admin, Thank you, uh, Admin. Napagkit niyo sa ilang interview, Admiral, na makabubuti ito dahil sa dalawang bagay. Una, mapapadali ang pag-uwi ng ilang mga seafarer natin at pangalawa, makakatulong ito sa ekonomiya. Pakipaliwanag naman ito, Admiral. Yes, of course. Uh, merong marching order ng ating Pangulo na tignan yung mga kalagayan ng mga standard Filipino seafarers at sea. Um, I think the best solution to do that is uh, to open our ports sa, sa crew chains. Why? Uh, kasi... Hindi nga makakababa yung mga ibang uh, seafarers natin sa ibang bansa. So what the principals or the owners of the ships, uh, international ships, are doing is they go to our country. Uh, kasi open yung ports eh. So ngayon, eh, the opportunity to uh, bring down the, ano, the tired Filipino crew and even uh, international crew, i-allow na natin dito. So kung uh, baba, punta sila dito, ibaba ng barko yung mga crew nila whether they are Filipinos or not, para mapalitan na, they will be very happy in doing that. Uh, in the same way, itong mga stranded nating Filipinos are mga kauwi na sila and they don't need to go to wait for a longer period in the international ports na nakasara. Or kung may opportunity man bumaba, sasakay pa sila ng aeroplano. Uh, it's very tough for our seafarers, but if they come here, to do crew change, napakaganda po sa ating kababayang Filipino seafarers. At hindi lang yan. Pag dumating po yung barko ng uh, yung mga international shipping dito, uh, and then they want to replace the Filipino seafarers, then madali rin makapag-employ yung ating bansa ng mga Filipino seafarers. In that, we continue to employ our seafarers. Now, kung minsan ang, ang mga barko din, sabi nila, Nandito na rin lang tayo. Ba't pa tayo kukuha ng taga-ibang bansa? So, kukuha sila ng Filipino seafarers. So, it's a great opportunity for our seafarers for employment and, and for our seafarers who has been staying aboard ship to go home to their respective family. So, uh, maliban dyan, yung isang advantage dito is syempre, pag nandyan yung mga barko, uh, remember at one time, we have 100 ships in Manila Bay. So, yung mga logistics requirements sila, syempre, bibili sila ng makainan, yung mga requirements sila to some other requirements of the ship. Eh, Siyempre, dito na rin bibili. So, nakakatulong sa ekonomiya ng ating bansa. So, uh, I'm, I'm sure there will be more advantages in the future. Uh, like, for example, if uh, may send up na yung ating uh, uh, quarantine, then probably the, the seafarers who are from the other countries can go down and uh, visit our country, our beautiful country. Uh, so, uh, these are the advantages that uh, we can get from uh, making our country an international hub for food chains. To that point regarding the return of our seafarers, an estimated one out of every four seafarers or nearly 380,000 seafarers in the world, pinakamarami sa buong mundo, ah, ay Pilipino. Yes. yes. Ilan po dyan ang estimated na Pilipino na stranded pa hanggang ngayon sa kanilang mga barko? 
Yeah, so you're right. Uh, in, there are 1.6 million seafarers around the world and one out of four Filipinos, so around 400,000. And based on our uh, data, estimate no, is not uh, accurate, is uh, nakapagpauwi na tayo ng mga 80 to 90,000 since uh, April. So April, May, June, July, August, and now it's September, six months. Uh, for a 360, for example, yeah, every month, uh, nakakapag-uwi ka dapat ng 30,000. So in six months, 180,000 na dapat yung napauwi natin. Because of the restriction, something like uh, nakapag-uwi na tayo ng 90,000. So may natitira pa ng mga something like 80 to 70 to 90,000 seafarers who are still there. It's based on uh, 30,000 per month na palitan ng crew. So, ganyan, karami pa yung nandyan uh, and some of them has been staying there for a very extended period of time. Kaya, very hard to. I was in the Navy before and whenever I I board the ship, pag four months, five months, medyo matagal na yun, uh, it affects also your uh, mental, your physical and emotional. Kaya nga sa Navy, uh, we give R and R for our crew to refresh them to be with their family so that when they come back, eh, malakas na naman sila, very refreshed and energized din sila. And for Filipino seafarer staying there at sea for more than a year, that, that's a very tough thing to bear psychologically, mentally, emotionally, and sometimes spiritually. So we have to bring them home. So um, tough yun sa mga ganun, mga say uh, at least 60,000 pang mga probably are and is stranded there at sea. Okay. Admiral, nagsimula nang mag-operate ang Port of Subic bilang crew change hub noong isang linggo. Dumating na nga yeah. ang uh, Hong Kong-based MV Dapping Star at nakauwi na rin ang ilang buwan ng stranded doon na limang Pilipino seafarer. Ano nga yeah. po ang health and safety protocols na ipinatupad sa Port of Subic sa kanilang pag-uwi? Yung ano ginagawa ng uh, one-stop shop dito sa Manila, ganun ang gagawin din natin sa Subic at sa Kabataan. You know, uh, the number one goal here is not to spread the virus. Yan ang number one goal ng ating IATF. So yun yung, yung ginagawa natin. Uh, tulad ng sinabi ko, there will be, uh, they will be conducting, conducting RT-PCR testing doon sa uh, pagbaba nila. Uh, there is a quarantine facilities. Kung kulang man yung quarantine facilities na tinayo ni PPA, they can go to the hotels uh, in Subic Bay while waiting for their RT-PCR. Kasi kailangan huwag nating ano eh, palabasin sila eh, because uh, kung may nag-positive sa kanila, then they should be treated and they should be isolated to prevent the spread of the disease. So one-stop shop ang ano niya, nandiyan yung BOQ. Kompleto yung ahensya ng government uh, to make sure that the, the spread of the disease is uh, always the uh, focus uh, sa crew chains. Uh, so, yun ang ginagawa sa Subic Bay. And uh, syempre, we are also thanking um, uh, SBMA Administrator uh, ESMA for allowing us to do crew chains at SBMA. So, maganda yung collaboration between the LGUs and the uh, Department of Transportation. Admiral, nabanggit nyo na Port of Manila, Port uh, Kapimpin sa Bataan, at ngayon ang Subic, Port of Subic. Ano po po ang uh, crew change hub na hinahanda down the line? At uh, anong mga timeline ho na nakikita ninyo para sa mga crew change hubs na ito dito sa Pilipinas? Ayon sa guidance ng ating uh, Secretary Tugade, um, ang, ang gumagawa po nito, ang um, organize nito is... Uh, Si Lieutenant General Del Rosario ng one-stop shop and uh, Admiral Vinson, no, ASEC for Maritime Affairs ng Department of Transportation. Uh, we are planning to open up, uh, I believe, uh, Davao, uh, Cebu, Batangas, and probably uh, if we are have the enough facilities or uh, resources, we can open up also Iloilo, Zamboanga. These are, these are ports that has deep draft where makaka-land yung mga malalaking barko na international ships. So, hopefully the future will be able to operate this one. And kung maging maganda yung, ano, yung performance natin sa Manila, Subic, and Bataan, and then uh, the international uh, ships will be, yung owners will uh, see na maganda yung ginagawa natin dito. Uh, imagine if uh, they are going to Malaysia, dadaan sila sa baba, 
sa Zamboanga na lang or sa Davao. So less expenses on the part of the international shippers. So it's good. Uh, a lot of a lot of ships will be coming and to our country. In fact, marami na ngang uh, gustong mag-crew change sa Subic. Um, and uh, isa pa, ang isa magandang ginawa ng ating uh, PPA general manager is uh, I think he requested that um, there will be 50% uh, ano, reduction sa mga, mga ano, uh, sinisingil sa mga barko when they go to Subic Bay. Kaya mapuntahan yan sa Subic Bay because it's lesser it's it's cheaper to do crew change in Subic than here in Manila uh, probably in Bataan as well so eh, it's a good opportunity actually sa ating bansa okay Admiral, do you see our being an international hub for crew change continuing beyond the pandemic yeah i, I believe so uh, we will do our best to sustain this one um, it will become a normal thing Um, na ano na at least tayo yung naunang gumawa niyan and if you'll be able to perfect it uh, people will be the ship will be coming here um, I'm not sure if when will COVID uh, ano, leave us but um, this will be sustainable um, why? because we have so many seafarers aboard ship uh, imagine one out of four is as a Filipino seafarer so if I am the principal I'd rather go to the Philippines, uh, less expenses in crew chains. And um, uh, believe me, um, I've been meeting with some of the ambassadors from other countries requesting me to uh, help the seafarers um, extend their expiring certificates because they want to hire seafarers from the Philippines. Uh, choice po rin ng ating mga seafarers because magagaling sila at very devoted sa kanilang trabaho. And so, as requested by other ambassadors, what we are doing in Marina is to extend the extraditory certificates of our seafarers na mag-expire sa up to December 31 for a period of one year. Uh, in that, um, yung ibang bansa na gustong kunin ng ating seafarers, we'll uh, hire them. So, maganda yung there are positive signs that other countries are still looking and wants to hire our seafarers. And the best way to do that is to come here and do the crew change. Tama-tama. Yeah. Eh, guest din ho natin ngayon sa second half ng ating uh, programa, si Tourism Secretary Berna Romulo Puyat. Do you yes. see opportunities for tourism in these port cities being uh, crew change hubs, international crew change hubs, uh, Admiral? Yeah, of course. Uh, pag naging, pag nag-normalize na yung situation, when countries are coming here to do crew change, um, then uh, in sa barco kasi, mga crew are not just Filipinos. Uh, sabi ko, one of, one of four. So probably three are not uh, Filipinos. So if there are 100 crew, uh, so say you, are, you have 75 uh, international uh, foreign uh, seafarers at, uh, aboard ship. So kung nandiyan sila, if they are be allowed to go down, and visit our beautiful country, that's an opportunity for our uh, tourism. At uh, siyempre, pagdating ng araw, if uh, hindi lang crew lang dyan, if they are doing, uh, if they are bringing along cargo or passengers um, just to do crew change, and if they would be allowed to go down, that that would be a boost to our uh, tourism in our country. Admiral, you are currently seeking the passage of legislation for the benefit of seafarers. Please tell us what action you are seeking from Congress. Um, being nag-umpisa to, nung nag-umpo ako at na may namatay na ano, um, gusto kong uh, ano, uh, buma- mag, uh, to give my sympathies to those who fe- perished uh, or are missing uh, our Filipino crew. Uh, na nasakay ng isang uh, ship from uh, New Zealand that um, sunk uh, off uh, Japan shore 38 ata out 38 Filipino seafarers out there and some of them are still missing and meron din nasunugan na isang Filipino natin namatay na uh, in one so it's, it's very dangerous out there and um, when i was in the navy pag may namamatay na sundalo binibigyan ng ating pangulo ng house and lot as a as a incentive for those who are those who are killed in action and our seafarers are also our heroes and when they perish at sea you know one year ka na nga wala sa bahay mo 
at uh, hirap na dinadanas mo tapos maaksidente ka pa din ni Ferris at si I'm looking at the, the same uh, ano uh, benefits uh, ano po yung mabibigay ng ating gobyerno sa ating uh, mga Filipino seafarers so we are working to come up with a legislative agenda kung pwede mabigyan din ng similar benefits ang mga nagpe-ferries ng seafarers uh, at si Katulad ng binibigay natin sa ating mga sundalo. So probably a house and lot to be given by our beloved president to, to them, but perish at sea. So isa pa yan, um, isa pa na nilelegislate namin is yung sinabi ko nga, yung dormitory for our seafarers. You know, when they, especially ngayon, very restricted yung uh, movement uh, and when they follow up their requirements for uh, re redeployment at sea, kung saan-saan sila naka, ano yun, nakatira eh, uh, dito, uh, wala silang matirahan. So, they, they, eh, since yung mga hotels are uh, very expensive din. So, kung minsan ang pinupuntahan nila dito sa may Mal Malate, sa Luneta, so that there will be very, very close to the government agencies like Marina, DOH, uh, DOF, and para ma-complete nila yung requirements. So kung saan saan sila nag-stay, uh, nag uh, sometimes not decent. So my intention is to come up with a dormitory, some 300 to 500 uh, uh, rooms where our seafarers can stay and, and be charged with a minimum fee like 300 to 500. Meron ng aircon, it's a decent house. Uh, this is uh, one way to you know, recognize din yung pag-ihilap ng ating modern heroes. You know, our seafarers are the one... Um, uh, yung 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 ating mga food supplies are medical supplies are moving because of them so we consider the modern day heroes but we are not helping them out so to alleviate the plight of our seafarers kasi kawawa din sila eh ito yung naisip namin na pamamaraan para mapasaya naman natin ang ating ano it's one way to give back to our modern heroes admiral any message to the stakeholders of the maritime industry? Uh, yes, being uh, una una sa lahat, uh, my heart goes to all the seafarers at sea out there. At um, ang inyong marina ay nakatugon dito. Uh, gagawin namin po ang lahat ng magagawa namin upang may ma-repatriate kayo or may uwi kayo kagad sa ating bansa. And at the same time, uh, magkaroon na rin ng opportunity ng ating mga seafarers na wala pang trabaho because of the pandemic to be deployed to their um, respective uh, ships. Doon sa ating uh, other stakeholders, uh, uh, gagawin po namin ang lahat upang may usulong ang ating plano sa industriya uh, based na rin doon sa Maritime Industry Development Plan 2028 that we have uh, crafted uh, in, in three years uh, period. Uh, isusulong natin yan, uh, magtutulungan tayo as a, in the spirit of bayanihan. This is the only way for us to move forward. And um, magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, summit next week uh, in celebration of the Maritime uh, Week. And uh, we will be coming up with uh, strategic solutions on how to move forward as one uh, para sa pagsulong natin sa ating industriya. Sa ating shipbuilding, ship repair, ang ating domestic shipping, uh, merong inapruvan ng Kongreso based sa nirekomenda ng ating Department of Transportation Economic Stimulus to ensure that uh, we will also look into your sad plight and um, magkaroon kayo ng uh, economic stimulus that will uh, alleviate your, uh, yung mga losses nyo during the pandemic. And... Um, Siyempre, um, meron akong 10-point agenda for marina personnel to be their guide as we move forward. At kung pagsamasamahan natin yung ating uh, mga efforts uh, all together, there is no reason for us not to succeed in our goals of uh, becoming a maritime, uh, a progressive maritime industry and a great progressive maritime nation. I'd like to express my gratitude to Secretary Andanar. Uh, sir, thank you. I know you were, were very supportive to me when I was employed in the Navy and you are very supportive again today. And uh, kung ano man po ang may tutulong ng Marina upang makatulong sa programa nyo, uh, sa inyong departamento, we, we are always here. We are just, I'm just a text away. At kung ano man ang programa ng ating Pangulo, pagtutulungan natin upang 
tayo ay uh, magkaroon ng magandang kinibukasan sa ating bansa.